Hey there, and welcome back to my channel, Weirdly OCD. In today's video, I want to talk to you about collections. No, I'm not talking about credit card debt collection. I'm talking about where you pick up items from personal hobby to attribute to a collection of your own. Now, we have several collections in our house, things that both Tony and I like to collect, but I want to show you how we keep them maintained and how we keep them organized so they don't really spiral out of control. Let me show you what I mean. My first tip for starting a collection would be to collect something you're actually genuinely interested in. Don't collect something just because you think it may potentially have resale value later on down the line. I think we all remember the debacle of Beanie Babies back in the mid-90s, and people can't even give those away, let alone resell them. But you want to collect things that you are genuinely interested in, not only because of the thrill of finding that piece that you've been eyeballing and drooling over that you've seen other people miraculously come across, but if you're just collecting things for a potential resale value down the line, all it's going to do is sit in boxes and clutter up your home. Not to mention, there is no solid guarantee that any specific thing will have any type of resale value in the future. Just because something is trendy doesn't mean you should collect it, because as we all know, trends can start and stop like that. Tip number two, have a designated location for the items that you want to collect. You don't want to start collecting things and not have a specified location. For example, I like to collect milk glass faces, and I decided that this would be the perfect spot to display them in our spindle wall. And with our spindle wall, there's exactly 10 spaces. So I only have 10 milk glass faces, which is perfect because it makes my collection not so overwhelming that you can't appreciate it. But honestly, I was surprised I found this many different milk glass vases to begin with. But it keeps the collection in one spot, it's not all over the house, and it's very nice to appreciate because there's not so many pieces cluttering up a big area. Another way that you can organize your collection is by doing it systematically. You can either do it alphabetically, like we have our DVDs in this cabinet behind me. If they're books, you can do them by title or color scheme. Or, you know, sometimes people even like to turn the books around so you see all the white pages so it's a more clean, simpler look. Also, if you collect things like we do, like the Pyrex dishes that I put in a previous clip, those can be organized by set, by color, however you wish to do it. That way it looks more appealing to you and anybody you want to show it off to. Also make sure that when you are collecting something or you become interested in collecting something that you're not collecting every single piece or every facet of that collection because sooner or later it's going to become very overwhelming, very frustrating, and it's not going to be able to be displayed as nicely as it should be. And finally, my last tip for you to keep whatever collection it is that you enjoy attaining uh, would be to just in general keep it clean. Uh, make sure that the items in it are getting clean, getting dusted, getting the proper care that need be. If it's DVDs or books or things like that, once you're finished with them, just simply make sure you put them back where they go. That way your collection stays in the condition that it was meant to be and you can always find that special piece again when you want to get it out or show somebody and then put it right back where it goes so it can continue to be enjoyed the way you meant for it to be. Yes, I am wearing a different colored shirt than I was in the beginning of this video because I've actually had to film it uh, two different times today. But that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope these tips will hopefully help you keep your collections to exactly what you want to showcase to not only your friends and family, but something that you'll be proud to come home every day, see and realize that it's yours. Take care of it, be proud of it, and most of all,
keep it organized. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.